How's it going, boys and girls? I hope you're all doing good. Today we're checking out Crossman's latest pumper, the Crossman 362. This is a variable pump, 22 caliber air rifle. You can operate it on three pumps, six pumps, or 10 pumps. 36 inches overall length. It's got a rifled steel barrel, fixed front sights, adjustable rear sight, cross bolt safety, one year warranty, pump, shoot, and repeat. You're gonna need a lot of 22 caliber pellets. This is recommended for skill advancement, critter control, range, and hunting wabbits. This gun's definitely not accurate enough to shoot at a rabbit or any living creature for that matter. 875 feet per second. And from my testing with normal pellets, you do get 700 feet per second with just about all the pellets. On 10 pumps, we'll do some chronograph testing. And all our accuracy is going to be done on 6 pumps in this video. So it's definitely a nice looking gun. Sells for $99. Got some good styling. This gun weighs exactly 5 pounds. Medium high on the loudness scale. The barrel length is 21 inches. And it is a single shot. Now, as you can see, it is a nice looking gun, but it is probably about three quarter size, I'd say. It does say it has peep or open adjustable rear sights, synthetic all weather stock, textured grip, and a rigid rubber butt pad. So here's the description. The Crossman 362 multi-pump pellet rifle is the next step in the evolution of Crossman's classic and reliable variable pump platform. The single shot bolt action air rifle provides velocities up to 850 feet per second with alloy pellets and it does 700 feet per second with JSB pellets to deliver the necessary speed and accuracy for small game hunting, pest control, or plinking. Like I say, you guys, I don't think this really had the accuracy to use for small game hunting or pest control. You guys will see what I mean. But I did do all my accuracy testing on six pumps in this video, so maybe this gun comes alive when you do 10 pumps, who knows. It's got a good trigger, very consistent. Breaks at about two pounds, three ounces. And it was a little louder than I expected. Definitely medium high in the mid 90s on the decibel meter. So as you guys know, I always clean a new air gun. Get that preservative gunk out of the barrel. We'll give you the best accuracy. You also want to use a flexible cleaning rod and ballast all that's safe for air gun seals. Yeah, and this was a super dirty barrel. So there's the patches I pulled out. I didn't get it completely clean. This barrel could use a good soak and scrubbing. Hajimoto explained to me how you clean a Chinese barrel. But uh, it's good enough for what we're doing here today. Definitely one of the dirtiest barrels I've cleaned. It does have an awesome instruction manual. It tells you how to do everything you would need. Maintenance, how to operate the gun. And it even tells you how to aim it. So, something I probably should have gone over. Since it was the middle of the night when I got this going, I went ahead and made my indoor shooting range using some LED lights to make my chronograph work. So, it's a capable and compact air rifle with the ability to adjust the power to meet the range of needs from hunting convenience to quick pest control or easy backyard plinking. Available at Pyramid Air. I'd say this is for plinking. I do not think it's for hunting or pest control. Alright you guys, there's three pumps on the 13.73 grain. Now let's do uh, six pumps. 13.73 grain. Wow, 622. Alright, 10 pumps. I think that was 10. Here we go. Wow, that was uh, quite a bit louder too. I could feel the uh, kick a little bit. Very cool. I'm going to try that one more time because I don't remember if I did 9 or 10. You can feel it get slightly harder, but not, not hard to pump at all. 10 pumps on the dot. Woo, yep. Nice, that's consistent too. I'm going to put those away. We're going to go to, I think, a more common lightweight pellet. Those were wad cutters right there. So probably the most popular lightweight JSB pellet is the 14.35 grain. 490, nice. 
Oh, that was that faster than the other one? I think it might have been. All right, six pumps, 14.35 grain. Nice. Solid 600 feet per second. 10 pumps, 14.35 grain. Crazy, 701, huh? Try that one more time. All right, once again, 10 pumps. Wow, consistent. <laughs> that was within one FPS, you guys. Me likey. So the 15.89 grains are going to be real close to uh, the last two pellets we shot, obviously. That was six pumps right there. 551 with 18 grains. Nice. All right, 10 pumps, 18 grain. 638. There you go. All right, you guys are out here with the Crossmania. 362. Look at all these bad boys. Nineteen yards away, going for twenty. Close enough. All right, I can't see what's going on, so we're just gonna hit. Go with that top right there. Shooting a little to the right. Dang, we got a nice little group right there. A quarter size group with open sights, but it is two inches to the right. So we're just going to turn this little screw right here, and if you see right there, there's some little marks. So I'll just move that over one notch at a time until we're zeroed in. So I just discovered you could change that to a traditional sight from a peep sight. I just flipped it around, so I'm still trying to sight it in. All right, 14.35, let's make this official. All right, we got some tiny targets here, and actually it started raining, so I'm back at my window. We're probably at a good 25 yards now, sniper style. Here we go. Perfect. Same a little bit high. So one thing about the sight picture on the 362, at least for me, let's say this is your peep sight and you're looking through that hole, right? So it'd be nice if you saw something like this where you had the top of your blade and then, you know, it was more or less centered in the middle of your peep sight. But what you actually get is something like this. And so this part right here, in between here and here and here and here, sorry. So the distance between here and here and here and here and actually even here and here for that matter is so great that it's just really hard to keep it in the middle so i don't really care for these iron sights it's saying when i flipped it around there's your rear sight right there and let me just grab my magic marker and so where i would like to see a sight picture like this that being my front sight and filling up most of the thing you get something more like this where it's almost impossible to find the middle so i had some difficulty shooting this at 25 yards, whereas the Barra 1866, you can shoot that thing at 50 yards like a PCP. No problem aiming that thing. So I don't really care for the sights on this bad boy. I also had to adjust the rear sight all the way over to one side just to get in the middle, and it still wasn't quite there. So those are my final thoughts, you guys. <laughs> That's it for me on this one. I really do appreciate you guys tuning in. This is not a bad gun if you want a, the latest pumper. But you might want to save your money and get the Dragonfly MK2 that's coming out. 
So it has a reduced caulking effort. And I'm guessing it's going to shoot pretty good as well. All right, everybody take care. Happy shooting. We'll see you on the next one.